Now if you scrub this timeline, oh by the way, uh, here let me align this here. The reason uh, I had to move the video because down the timeline I have my you know playhead right over here. So when you create the replicator, make sure it's you know always on the beginning of the uh, video. Doesn't really matter. You can always realign the video. All right. Let's go back here, and now we have a replicator. Now we have to configure the replicator to get our desired video wall. Now, if you come over here to the right-hand side, where my inspector window is, we have a little button for the replicator that has all the uh, functions listed, all the settings that we can control. Okay, now well, first what we're going to do is we want to make sure uh, we get the scale and alignment properties right. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and select the size. Wait, it's a size right here. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna create a size of let's say 670. 670. Hit enter. Okay, that's done. Then we have uh, columns and rows. So for this video, we're going to create uh, 13 columns. The use can be any number you like. And for the rows, I'm going to say uh, we'll create 10, 10 rows. All right, that's done. Now come down all the way here and see where it says scale. So we're just going to go ahead and scale this video and uh, by default it's set to 100% and I'm just going to go ahead and say I want to scale this to 25%. Alright, now zoom out, see how the video look like. Alright, we're getting there. Uh, I'm just going to come up here to my zoom level just make sure I'm seeing the full picture I'm just gonna say fit in windows which shows me the entire canvas of the video all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to manually resize this video since we selected a uh, widescreen aspect ratio preset. I'm just gonna grab one of these handles. Here, let me show you real quick. See these handles? See these little boxes? They're on all four corners. You can use either one of them. I'm just gonna grab one and I'm just gonna resize my video just like this. It's really simple. You can resize any way you like it. Just make sure the space between your clips are equal. Let's zoom in here and see. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. A little bit of alignment. Okay, I think we have a nice video wall going. And you can just you know, scrub your video, see how it looks like. exactly what I wanted. Alright, now we have the same video playing on all the screens. We want to make sure each screen display its own video. To do that, let's go back to the inspector window on the replicator and come down here where it says source frame offset. What that means is it, when you adjust this slider right here, it tells your videos to hold for the next video. So if you have like five, six videos, 
the source frame offset function tells the video okay just play one video on one row or one column and hold the next video for the next row or column and for this I'm gonna use the predefined value uh, I'm just gonna say 1083 1083 all right let's go back to our video and look at that now we have different video clips playing on different screens you can scrub this And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit slow on my system because it's using a lot of RAM because of the video sizes I'm using and because of the high definition preset I'm using. So that's why it's a little bit slow. But anyway, that's the idea. Uh, we have different videos playing on different screens and. Uh, one more thing we can do is when the videos are loaded to the replicator right now uh, they're basically starting from the middle your first video is going to be on the middle and the rest follow around that video so if you want to say if you, wanna, if you want to start your videos from let's say from the left side of the screen to the right go ahead to your uh, replicated properties again where it says origin select that by default it's of course it's a center but you can select upper left or you can select any other option for this one I'm just gonna say upper left that means uh, my first video is gonna start from the left side Okay, more beach ball. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, uh, if you zoom in here, that's my very first video. That's the second video, and third, and you know, the rest just follows. Alright. That part is done. And uh, we're pretty much done. That is the whole tutorial so what, we, what you can do right now you can just go to uh, your file menu um, you can just go ahead and do this you know export this video just do like a regular export or you can use the compressor to export your final video so it's all up to you and you can do this uncompressed export or you can use a codec uh, Apple's animation codec or H.264, MP4, doesn't matter, it's all up to you. So there you go, an exciting video tutorial. And uh, once again, uh, there's no free pizza, just want to make sure. Uh, don't ask me for any free pizza on the comments. Okay, now uh, there you have it. Uh, I think this is one of the most heavily requested uh, tutorials I ever had up to date so it's up there right now you can go ahead and uh, create your video walls and uh, you can create different video walls and you can align them on uh, motions 3d atmosphere so you have like five six walls you can create like a room filled with all video walls so that's something uh, you can do on your free time. Uh, there you have it. Now go ahead and make those magical movies you guys always make.